We have here the case of De Leon versus Philippine Transmarine Carriers Inc., a case where the Supreme Court upheld the employer's prerogatives to promulgate company policies and dismiss employees. Alvin claimed that on January 31, 2005, he was hired as a hotel personnel planner for the crewing department of Philippine Transmarine Carriers Inc., or PTC, a manning agency acting as agent for foreign principals and engaged in the business of sending Filipino seafarers. Record established that at the start of his employment, Alvin was given PTC's old company handbook. Alvin's first few years with PTC went well and he was promoted to Hotel Personal Officer in 2008. In December 2010, he was seconded by PTC to its Offshore Processing Unit, where he was given the position of scheduler. During his time with PTC, he received several awards. However, in 2010, he was given a verbal reprimand for violating PTC's policy against receiving pasalubong. In 2012, PTC revised its Code of Discipline which indicated more clearly its prohibition against accepting any gift with collective minimum value of 500 pesos and which punished the same with dismissal from employment. Record established that Alvin was served a copy of the revised Code of Discipline. On October 9, 2013, Alvin, along with a co-employee, Aaron, was caught on a surveillance camera accepting a brown bag from Fred, another employee. It was soon discovered that the brown bag contained two bottles of Jack Daniel's whiskey given by Mustafa, a friend and co-employee of Alvin from a previous employment. Alvin was confronted about the incident and he readily admitted that he and Aaron did accept the gift. However, Alvin insisted that it was not a violation of company policy for it did not come from a crew member but from an outsider. An administrative hearing was held on November 6, 2013 and attended by Alvin. In the said hearing, Aaron testified that Alvin told Fred not to hand the gift as there was a surveillance camera within his office and the handing of the gift might be misinterpreted. Aaron further stated that Alvin then advised Fred to proceed to the rear section of the crewing operations office. On November 12, 2013, Mustafa sent an email to PTC stating that he gifted Alvin two bottles of whiskey worth 36 US dollars as a gesture of goodwill and token of their friendship. Mustafa also stated that personal favor between Alvin and Fred was not the reason for this gift. On November 22, 2013, Alvin received a written resolution from PTC informing him of the termination of his employment. PTC also terminated the employment of Aaron. On January 30, 2014, Alvin filed a complaint for illegal dismissal against PTC with the labor arbiter. Did PTC validly dismiss Alvin from employment? The Supreme Court ruled that Alvin was validly dismissed by PTC. The court found that Alvin's dismissal was anchored on his violation of a specific provision in PTC's Code of Discipline, which punished two separate acts. Number one, Offering or accepting, whether directly or indirectly, any gift with a collective value of 500 pesos or more, regardless of who it came from. And number two, acceptance by an employee of any gift, regardless of value, from a crew member, ex-crew member, or representative of a crew member. The court noted that from the said provision, a violation even on the first instance merited the penalty of dismissal from employment. In the present case, Alvin admitted to receiving a gift during his tenure with PTC. However, he contended that, number one, he did not violate PTC's code of discipline since he did not receive a gift from a crew member, ex-crew member, or representative of a crew member. And number two, the provision was vague, unreasonable, and unfair. Alvin argued that an analysis of the said provision would reveal that the same was utterly vague without any qualification as to from whom the gift should come from. And for what consideration? Alvin pointed out that the governing principles behind PTC's provision did not take into account the intent or the origin of the gift. Alvin concluded that the subject provision should have been declared to be unreasonable and unfair. The court did not agree, for it determined that Alvin's act clearly fell under the first act punished by the subject provision in PTC's Code of Discipline. According to the court, Alvin received a gift with a value of 36 US dollars 
which was clearly above the 500 peso threshold under the PTC provision. The court further stated that the subject provision in PTC's Code of Conduct was not vague and unreasonable, said the court. The fact that it did not specify the origin of the gift or the purpose for which the gift was given did not automatically mean that the PTC provision was vague. It simply meant that this no-gift policy of PTC was absolute, that is, the origin or the purpose of the gift was irrelevant. In simple terms, the mere act of offering or receiving a gift constituted a violation. Significantly, the court took into account PTC's rationale for the subject provision. According to PTC, in view of the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration's strict requirements and the severity of the corresponding penalty imposed at the first instance, firm implementation of company rules and regulations was indispensable. PTC added that it was only just and reasonable to adopt measures to ensure that any of its officials, employees, and representatives that would merit the cancellation of its license be imposed the supreme penalty of dismissal. The court stated that company policies and regulations, unless shown to be grossly oppressive or contrary to law, are generally valid and binding on the parties and must be complied with until finally revised or amended. Furthermore, a company's management prerogatives shall be upheld so long as they are exercised in good faith for the advancement of the employer's interest and not for the purpose of defeating or circumventing the rights of employees under special laws or under valid agreements. In this regard, the court ruled that the dismissal of Alvin, which hinged on a provision that prescribed dismissal even on the first instance of violation, should therefore be upheld. In this case, the court ruled that PTC was well within its management prerogative in terminating Alvin's employment upon a finding of violation of its company rules. The court stated that Alvin's actions revealed that he was aware of his violation of PTC's rule. By his own admission, he instructed Fred to give the gift to Aaron in the far end of the office as he knew that there was a surveillance camera in their work area. He thus knew that he was at risk of getting caught doing an act he should not do. Despite this, he still received the gift and did not return the same to Mustafa or even turned over the same to the Human Resources Department as instructed by PTC's Code of Discipline. For the court, the acts of Alvin revealed willful misconduct or disobedience of company rules that further justified PTC's decision to terminate his employment.